Okay, hello, welcome to the very first episode of Golden Tan TV. I'm your host, I'm Adam Sand, the owner and the boss around Golden Tan. That doesn't mean a whole hell of a lot, other than I get to wear a shirt that says it, and I have to pay the rent at the end of the month. Other than that, I'm just a guy who knows a lot about tanning and I want to share it with you. Okay, so this is a show for people like you who want to tan, who want to live or look good and feel great and live a good life without worrying about what you're doing. Okay, and that's basically what this show is about. There's an awful lot of text out there. You're constantly emailing you, you got your magazines that you're reading, you got places where you're trying to communicate with, and you really you don't know what to read, what to believe. There's so much you can possibly absorb. You can't do it in a day. You have to make an incredible decision, and all of a sudden it feels like going for a tan is something that's going to be like trying to figure out how to solve the debate between iPhones and Blackberries. It's an insanely long argument that will never, ever, 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 ever end, no matter how long I fight about it with all my friends. Okay? But iPhones are still better. Anyways, the point of the matter is, is that this allows me to communicate with you and you to communicate with me because I care about your opinion and I care about you. That's the way I am with all my clients. I want you guys to be able to ask questions and get answers in a real common sense way. Okay? Now, when I say tanning healthy, some of you might be standing there and thinking, that makes absolutely no sense, okay? Well, tanning is healthy, okay? The sun is the only reason we exist on this planet. Everything in this world is recycled sunlight, whether it's sun that comes down and makes water turn into bacteria, that turns into grass, that bugs, bugs eat the grass, and then other animals eat the bugs, and then next thing you know, we're eating the animals at McDonald's, okay? That's just the way it works. Everything on this planet exists because of the sun. So the sun is healthy, but like anything else, you have to do it in moderation. So one example of why the sun is healthy is because it makes your body produce vitamin D. What does vitamin D do for you? Okay, well a lot of people don't understand it. They think it might be this thing that's kind of good for their bones, but they don't really understand. But vitamin D is important for immune system function, bone health, calcium in the way your body uses it, producing certain hormones, moderating sleep patterns, everything, okay? The sun is essentially one of the main reasons we exist on this planet and therefore the body is adapted to using the sun in many different ways. The main way, is that the skin absorbs sunlight and converts it into vitamin D. What does vitamin D do? Well, when you're vitamin D deficient, or when you're vitamin D deficient, your body doesn't produce enough leptin. It doesn't release the hormone called leptin. Okay? When you're vitamin D sufficient and you have enough, your body has lots of leptin. And that means it triggers this hormone called leptin that makes your body say, hey, we're full. We don't need any more food. Okay, so if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to stay healthy, you need to have adequate levels of vitamin D in your system so that when you walk up to Subway and try and eat healthy, you're not going to look at that big pile of cookies. I know, I love it. And you're going to look at that big pile of cookies and you're actually going to say no, rather than three cookies and a Diet Coke along with your Subway sandwich. Okay? So that's the point. With this show, I'm trying to show you guys all the health benefits of tanning and to really discuss it in a real way that lets you know what's real and what's not real. Now, a lot of you might be saying, oh, I take vitamin D pills, okay? And there is some validity to that. But at the same time, we have to look at it in common sense. Your body, like I said, absorbs sunlight by the skin, converts it to vitamin D. That's the body's natural way of doing it. If you wanted to consume the 1,000 to 2,000 IUs of vitamin D a day from food, you'd be drinking something like 17 glasses of milk or five pieces of salmon. Okay? Now, unless you own a drugstore or five car dealerships, you're not going to be eating that much salmon in a day. And I really don't think anybody out there wants to drink 17 glasses of milk a day. So the point of the story is your body wasn't designed to eat vitamin D. So eating it in a pill doesn't make sense. It'd be like if I jumped out of this TV screen right now and shot me in the arm and you started bleeding all over the place and I come along and all of a sudden the ambulance shows up and says, hey, we need to give you a needle and put it in your arm. We need to replace your blood. And if you said, I'm scared of needles, then they said, no problem. We can just let you drink the blood. That wouldn't make any sense because it's not where the blood's supposed to be, okay? And the vitamin D is not supposed to be in your stomach. And there is actually problems with over-consuming vitamin D, okay? So there is a proper way and an improper way. I don't care what anybody says, but there is a proper way your body does things and there's an improper way and you have to do it the proper way, okay? So don't be afraid of the sun. Now, to more fun, happy topics. So every day at Golden Tan, we have several lotions in this cart. Okay, and when you have a membership with us, you don't pay for lotion. You get free tanning lotion. One of the ones that was in the car today was this one. It's a lotion called Trust Fund Baby. It's champagne infused. And that's what I mean about the tanning industry. What is champagne infused? What is all this stuff on the back here? You read Matrix Cell, Fresh Tech, Body Fit. All these ingredients on these tanning bottles, nobody knows what they do. Which is why they put little things on there like a keychain that says Trust Fund Baby. Which is basically like putting a thing on your keys that says Gold Digger. 
which I don't necessarily know if you want in your keys. Now, as a lotion, it's great. It smells fantastic. I couldn't even tell you what it smells like, but it smells like a very luxurious perfume. It doesn't have a fruity smell. It doesn't have that tanning lotion, coconut smell. It doesn't have a man's cologne smell. It just smells like a very luxurious soap or tanning lotion, right? So it has that nice smell. The other nice thing about it is that it's DHA free, okay? And in a future episode, we're gonna touch on what DHA is and what DHA free is, but basically I mean it doesn't have that cosmetic bronzer that a lot of people get concerned about when they're worried about streaking, orange thumbs, stuff like that. It's DHA free, so it's not gonna have that problem with bronzers. Now, when it gets to these ingredients in the back, I've actually taken the time to figure out what they mean. Okay, so body fit. What it says in the back is reduces the appearance of cellulite and promotes firmness of the skin. Well, when we read that, we say, okay, well, how? And I mean, I'm telling you, I've been to tanning salons, and these girls are telling us that it smooths them out by filling in the cellulite dimples. Okay, to the tanning girls everywhere, this is not drywall putty, okay? It's not used to fill in divots, okay? What is actually happening with Body Fit is there's an ingredient in there called Glossy. Okay, it's an alkaline ingredient made from the horned poppy. I don't know what the difference is between a normal poppy and a horned poppy, but I can make a few jokes here, but we're going to leave that till we get to know each other a little better. The main thing that you need to know is its primary function is decreasing the production of fat cells. Now, what happens is when it's introduced onto the skin, it's going to decrease the amount of fat cells being produced, and the fat cells being produced are also going to become more fibroblastic, which means they're going to produce a ton of collagen. It's also going to cause blood drainage and reduce water retention, which is going to make the skin more firm, and it's going to reduce the visual appearance of cellulite. Now, on that topic, if you're looking to reduce the visual appearance of cellulite, you also need to decrease the amount of toxins in your diet and how you get rid of those toxins. So get doing your hot yoga, stop eating bad foods, and that's going to really help with that. But that's the point. When you go to buy your tanning lotion, you need to know what's in it. You need to know what it can do for you, and you need to have the person you're dealing with know how to explain the product and explain what this stuff is. Okay, That is the point. So, Trust Fund Baby, it's a great lotion. It's on sale for 76 bucks, and if you have a membership at Golden Tan, it's free. If you're not from Edmonton, there's lots of tanning salons around. Go find out someone who actually knows what the ingredients are. Now, every day on the show, and that's what we're going to have actually is a question of the day where you're going to come in and you're going to leave a comment on below the show or you're going to send me a message in the Ask Adam box, which is somewhere up above me, uh, and you're going to ask me a question, anything. It can be tanning related, can be sunlight related, vitamin D related, anything you want, I guarantee you I find the answer. If I don't have it, I will go figure it out for you and then I will explain it. But every day, ask me a question, please guys, because this helps me learn. And the more I learn, the better I can be for my clients and my salon. So even if you're not from Edmonton, even if you don't know me, ask me questions. If you own a tanning salon, ask me questions. Try and bust me up. Try and challenge me. Give me something I don't know. I want it. Take it. Give it to me as hard as you can. Now, in closing, I just want to thank everybody for watching. I know that this was probably the roughest episode ever, and I hope I get better day by day. But I really, really do want you guys to get involved, ask questions, critique me, tell me how I did. Let me know what I could do better. Am I talking too loud? Am I talking too quiet? Let me know anything you want to hear about, stuff you're curious about. Anything. Just tell me what's up. All right? So... Anyways, it was great talking to you guys. Have a great night.